Goed zo de stok. Goed zo de stok. Oké, okay, so what we've got here is a crook ram. He did his uh, front foot. We're not exactly sure what happened to it, but anyway, it's uh, he nearly died, but we managed to you know, find him during joining and we rescued him but you can see that he was under a lot of stress because he lost all his wool um, when they get stressed or they have a nutrition problem they're breaking the wool and his wool fell off <laughs> anyway we've been patching up his leg ever since he'll probably never come good because there's quite a bit of damage um, but we're going to dress it again today um, he'll always have a limp and he'll probably never be able to service a lot of um, years but he has been a very good ram and we'd like to at least get another year out of him if we can. It's alright Dave. Good boy. Good boy Dave. It's alright Dave. Good boy fella. It's alright. Just going to fix your foot. Good fella. Gosh it's swollen again. Yeah, he knows I think. Come on fella, what's going on? You know we do this, look after you. Good boy, good boy. Come on. Come on. Gentle. Good girl. It's alright fella. It's alright fella. It's alright. Good boy. That's it. Right away. You actually get quite comfortable once they're sitting down. He's just a, and we've caught him dozens of times, but he just never likes it. He doesn't like it. He never feels comfortable with it. It's the toenail that's going to come mm. off and he'll end up with sit straight yeah. If I do these two together though, I'll mm. try that with this sticky stuff. <coughs> At least the maggots look like they've gone. Yeah. That foot's quite swollen. It's, the foot's this quite swollen just, again if you can... This is just diluted iodine. Um, yep. Which helps so heal know. and clean, keep it clean. Yeah. I'll just pop this on here. was badly infected so we've got rid of the infection mm. it's just trying to get it to heal where that toenail doesn't want to join up the dog's just holding these couple of young sheep we're running these couple of young sheep with him as a bit of company and because they <coughs> they should have gone up to our other property but the truck. They missed the they missed the bus. Mm, they did. Oops, here's the bandage lady, she's wrapping the Are you gonna put elastoplast on that, did you say? I am, but on the hoof to keep these. Oh yeah, okay. The hoof does come off. Of course. Can't can't yeah, just, right. yeah. I'm just gonna do the toes. Yeah, right. Not up there, yeah. So there you go. It doesn't look like it wants to stick. It's old. Yeah, right. Just wrap it a few times around and see how it go. That's right. Just straighten up his hoof. Yeah. So that it's not pulling on it. You can still walk with it, but it'll mm. stay together. That's right. Uh, you paddock the cows next door, you can hear them. Uh, I don't know what he did, he must have trod on a stick or yeah, something. Speared himself. Speared himself with something somehow. Yeah. 
Probably a lot he, better. Probably when he was getting off a, a ewe after he'd been after joining. So this is um, the wool, and you can see down here there's been a fair bit of water stain and stress well, you from. You can see the break. That's yeah, the break. That's the break, is it? Yeah, look, yeah that's, that's the break. The break. Yeah, so that's where he got stressed from when he was really sick and it, it creates a, a weakness in the wool. Right, okay, well, we'll let him up now. Okay, our mate. I know the indignity of it all, but anyway, up he gets. Oops, oops, oops. There he is. He's ready to go. And the dog's been keeping the others quietly. Come on, bud. Come on, good dog. Come on, good dog. Come on. Good dog.